Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. How you doing today everybody? It's Saturday and I have a Dollar Tree haul for all you guys. Um, I have two hauls that I put together because I'm trying to catch up on my hauls and I, so that I can show you guys the new stuff that's out. Not that this stuff is all that old. I mean, it, some of it is still out. And, uh, you you know, every Dollar Tree doesn't get everything at the same time. But I just wanted to show you what I picked up. And hopefully, if you like it, you'll be able to find it in your Dollar Tree as well. So, let's get started. There is a ton of stuff here. Um, so, I want to get going. Um, as you saw in my thumbnail, I want to show you guys these canvases that I got. I picked up this canvas here, so cute. Let me take it out of the wrapper. I should have done this ahead of time because I did, I got a ton of washi tape and I did take them all out of the packages. I'm so excited. I found uh, two stores that had a ton of washi tape, new washi tape that I haven't seen. And uh, so I like scooped up a ton of washi tape. So this is the picture that I picked up. It's the canvas. I love the Dollar Tree canvases. They are so pretty. And it has like a gold foil around the cup there and the um, flowers, the center of the flowers. But isn't that gorgeous? I just loved it. And then there was one that was sort of matching. And it's also a bird with a cup and the flowers. And it also has the gold um, you know, tinting to it or however you want to say it. But those are the two that I picked up. I love them. I just was like, what? These are new. I really liked them a lot. So I grabbed these. There were a few other new ones. There was this one of an ostrich and its face was like, Bray! and I was like, oh, I want that so bad. But all of the ones that I saw looked like it it was stained so I didn't get it I just thought it was really fun and I was like that would be really cool, cool to hang up in the bathroom or something but um the couple that were in my store looked like like there was a coffee stain on it maybe that's what this it was supposed to look like but whatever this marking was on the on the picture I didn't like it so I didn't get it I just got those two and I'm very happy with those um my store got a bunch of new um, home decor and let me see what I want to show you here I found these candle holders they came in black and white I chose just the white ones but they have this design and then they came in this design and I thought they were both really, really nice. So I picked up both. You can do a whole bunch of things with these. Um, you can make um, tiered trays with them. Um, you can do all kinds of things. Um, I did not, again, I'm sorry, for I forgot my measuring tape. But I would say they're about maybe six inches tall. And they also had these ceramic balls. Now, I just thought this was a really cool looking thing and you could you know do something with the ball if you wanted to you know paint on it or decorate it or rub on transfers or not even use it with this but I just thought this was really cool so I picked up two of the balls and I just want to show you it on the other other one and I just thought that was really really pretty they had um, black ones. They had um, a couple of different colors that um, they weren't smooth like this. They had um, like uh, some kind of design on them. But I just thought these smooth ones were really cool. And that's what they look like on the bottom. And that's what that looks like on the bottom. That was this one. And this one is like that on the bottom. So these are the two different white ones. This one's square on the bottom. This one's round on the bottom. They're both round on the top, obviously. But I just thought these were just beautiful. 
loved them. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed this elephant for my friend, my best friend, Connie. He's got his trunk up, which is good luck. She um, collects elephants. They had this in um, white and in black. Um, if you're going to get these, though, um, some have the trunk up and some have the trunk down. So if that matters to you, you want the trunk up. If you want the good luck, just check to make sure the trunk is up on the one you get. So I got this one for my best friend, Connie. I hope she likes it. I also found, I bought a lot of white stuff. I also found this little, I don't know what you would call it. What are they calling it? Decor. But I just thought it was so cute with the, with the um, eyelashes and the pink lips. You could do anything with this. You could put um, some little succulents in it. You could put some of the little flowers in it. You could use it, I don't know, eh, maybe makeup brushes. I don't have, well, none that I can put in there right this minute. But I just thought that was really, really pretty. Just cute and, you know, feminine and sassy. And I picked that up. Got a, quite a few pieces of home decor. I also picked up one of these perpetual calendars. Um, this one says, thankful for this day. And you can change the month and you can change the date. I picked up this one. There is one with a house. There's one with a llama, I think. One with a unicorn. There's a bunch of different backgrounds. But they're all like this perpetual calendar. I really liked that a lot. There's the width on it. Again, looks like that on the back. I just thought that was really pretty with the succulents. Some of my um, pictures on my wall back here behind my TV are succulents. So that will go nicely in this room. Um, next thing I picked up, I had picked this up before, um, but I gave the purple one to Caroline. It's the bandana look headband. And uh, I got one of each color for her and one of each color for me. I just think they're so cute. I love that bandana look. So I got another purple one for me. Oh, there's some more stuff. I skipped over that, but I'll go back to it. Um, I found two new candles. These are Honey Vanilla. And these are Soy Blend candles. They are not um, Old Williamsburg that I can see. I just take a whiff of this. Oh yeah, that smells nice. Want to smell? It smells good, doesn't it? So I picked up two of them. And these are three ounces probably. That's the normal. Yep, three ounce candles. Um, I also picked up two packages of these acrylic gems. Uh, I want to put these in some flowers that I have on my, um, whatever that thing is over there, coffee table. They come in red, they come in blue, and they come in the clear. I think I have these, some of these from way back, but I think they're put, put away in my, um, Christmas stuff because I used it at Christmas time. So I just decided to get new ones. Oh, sorry. These are uh, 3.45 ounce packages. And there's the uh, packaging up close. And they're really pretty. You could do so many things with this. So I got those. I also picked up two of these um, plastic, hard plastic um, containers. I wanted to um, redo the drawers in my bathroom, so I got these for um, organizing what's in my drawers in my vanity. They came in pink, green, I forget what other colors, but I picked the pink. I got this one, and I also got this one, which is full of all my washi, which I'm going to show you next. See that, guys? Whoa! 
Looks like that on the bottom. Just thinner. Okay. And also in there, was, um, I got a six pack of 100 Grand Bars. Love these. One of my favorite candies. So grab that for munching on while watching TV. Sorry, I got to uncross my legs already. They're starting to cramp up. That's one bad thing about um, trying to film out here is uh, I have to cross my legs. And that doesn't last very long. Anyway, enough of my whining. I got, I would have to say about 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 different washies. 16 new washies I got. All right, let's get started showing you. I found this one. Very, very pretty. I'm going to go a little faster with these. I got this dog one. Look at the dog and the footprints, paw prints. I thought they were cute. Because I do have some friends that are dog dog people. I found this dog one. Look at how cute that is. I hope this is coming out clearer than it's looking from here. But, um, you know, I found this one. These were all new to me. I have, had not seen these before. Pretty flowers with a nice blue background. I got this one, which I thought was just a nice decoration. You know, nice little pictures, whatever. I also got these owls. Okay, it's owls and cats in boots. I don't know what that's all about. And then there's also birdhouses right there and flowers. I just thought it was cool. Really like it a lot. So I got that one. I got this one with the llamas. And the green background and the cactus. I got this one with the pink background and the hedgehogs. Love them. So cute. I love hedgehogs. I got two of this one. And those are with the uh, toucans. Love that. Picked up two of those. I thought it was really summery and fun. So I got two of those. I got this travel one that says travel the world and it's got like maps and stuff in the background. I thought that was cool for, you know, like traveling things. Um, I got this one, which reminds me of like neon eighties. You got the hamburger, the star, you got, uh, some drinks there saxophone says the word music it's like neon neon lights thought that was cool i got this fun one with the pineapples i don't know whether i got this one before it looked kind of familiar but i got that one with the pineapples because pineapples are always fun this one has tacos um a it's got a pepper that says just chillin taco that says let's talk about it bacon that says don't go bacon my heart and an egg that says excellent so that's i don't know if i'm doing this showing this backwards maybe no that chili there's your taco let's talk about it there's your bacon there's your eggs I love, I love talking food. I got two of this one too, because I thought it was so stinking cute. Panda bears. How can you not love panda bears? They're just so stinking cute. They, they make you want to hug them. So cute. Got two of those. I got two of this one as well. Let me match it up here way and this one is popsicles watermelon pineapple love that very summery 
And the last but not least is this one. I thought at first it was macaroons, but I think it's just a design. It's not quite a macaroon, but I thought it was pretty. And I got that one. So, wow, score on the uh, washi. So, I should be set with washi for a while. I'm already set with washi. I'm a washi fanatic. I just love it. But anyway, if you don't know what washi tape is, you use it for decorating. Um, you can decorate cards with it. You can seal envelopes with it. You can just put it, put it in scrapbooking. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. And there is my washi tape haul, if you wanted to see it all. I do have this big washi tape case that I got from Michael's. And um, I had bought another washi tape uh, organizer from Michael's that has like, um, it's probably about this long and it has three, it's wood and it has three different sections and it has like a ripper, like, um, like on the foil that teeth, so you could rip the washi tape, but um, I'm not really digging that anymore and I kind of want to just put all my washi in the big plastic Michaels thing. So I may do that soon, but then I'm thinking to myself, you know, th I think that uh, other washi thing was like five bucks a piece for each row. And I'm like, I don't want to have wasted that money, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. Enough. You don't really care about that. Um, next thing I found was these 24 cup uh, containers by Sure Fresh. They're really big. Let me show you one. I have a bunch of stuff in one of them. They're really big container. They, you can use them for storage, which is probably what I'm going to do because, um, I don't know, you could probably use it for food too, but that would hold a lot of food. 24 cups is a lot of food. If you were having a big party or something, you could use it for that, but... This is what it looks like. I saw some other people haul that and I was like, wow, I never saw that Sure Fresh container that big anywhere in my stores. So when I saw it, I grabbed two of them. And in this container is another lanyard that I bought for my, um, my badge at work. Thought that was real pretty design. So I can switch off with my uh, Flamingo one that I wear. Just thought it was pretty. I like it a lot. Can you see that design? So I got that. And then I was lucky enough to find these in the Brunswick store. I found the Harry Potter blind bags. Now, if you if you have a child or whatever that's a Harry Potter fan, you're gonna like be all over these. Myself, I don't really get them. They're just they're just wands and I don't know I'm not a Harry Potter fan so the wands don't mean a thing to me but I picked up five of them because I have a friend who has um, a daughter who is really into Harry Potter and uh, so I figured I'd give her a couple and then I have um, a couple of nephews I don't know if they're still into Harry Potter they were and it says, look out for the rare mystery wand. There's eight to collect. And those are the eight that you can collect. But I, I was like, what? Harry Potter, Harry Potter blind bag? Say that three times fast. I said, what the heck? I know some people that like Harry Potter. So I grabbed five of them. They had a bunch, but I only got five because I... Um, Although I was in that store again since I bought those and they were all gone. So I'm glad I got what I got when I got them. Um, what else do I have over here? Oh, I found this little thing. My store does not have these. I found these, I think in Brunswick. It's the sewing kit. Now, a lot of Dollar Trees have these. They're um, hung up by the registers. You get... Um, a tape measure, safety pins, straight pins, thimble, six thread spools, assorted buttons, needle threader, 
and needle compact. So you get all of that in this little box and it comes in this nice little plastic container, which was, you know, if you wanted to carry something like that in your pocketbook, I know everybody commenting about my word pocketbook. I'm not going to carry on about that. But to me, it's a pocketbook. Anyway, if you wanted to carry that with you, you know, in case of, you know, an emergency where you needed to sew something up or to just have, you know, instead of dragging out the whole um, sewing kit, you got this little number. So I grabbed that. My store doesn't have them and I haven't seen them in my store. People have been looking for them, but um, I found them at another store. Um, now we're into health and beauty aids. Hang on, guys. Let me just reach for this. I found these uh, eight individual packs of nine two-ply tissues, tissues, and I just loved the colors. I love that teal blue, and, uh, you know, I always try to keep a little pack of these in the car, in the console. I also keep one in my pocketbook. Um, sometimes in a coat, if I'm going someplace, you know, like if you have to go to a, a funeral or something, it's good to have a little something like this or a wake. Just have a, have your own little tissues in your pocket. But I just thought they were so pretty. And it says, take a breath on the one and the rest are just so pretty. I always buy these when they're eight packs and I hadn't seen this design before. I, I, I really liked it a lot. Um, next thing I picked up is I found the elf stipple brushes and I picked up three of them because I'm going to do, um, a makeup giveaway. And so I wanted to have some to, well, I bought one for a friend and then, um, I bought the rest to put in a giveaway. I hate to open this. I don't even know if I can without... I'll wait on the top, maybe. Mm, maybe I can open it. Maybe I can open it without... without destroying it. The packaging, I mean. All right, let's check out this stipple brush. Okay, it comes with a little cover on it. And uh, actually, you know, whatever. Anyway, take that off. You got that little like slanted head. Very soft. I like that. Very nice. I'm not quite sure why it's called a stipple brush, but, and then it's opened on the top. So when you put it away, you can seal it up and it doesn't get all jacked up. So very cool, e.l.f. product, says it's new. So um, yeah, I mean, new on the packaging, whether it's really new or whether Dollar Tree just got it, you know, I don't know, but they were there and they're e.l.f. products and I picked up three of them. So if you're out in the store, the e.l.f. Stipple, stip, stipple brushes, yeah are out in the Dollar Tree right now. They, I actually saw them in my store today, so. Um, I also picked up one of the e.l.f. Perfect Blend Concealer in the light beige. I actually picked up two, but I put the other one, um, I'm sending it to a friend. I also got a bunch of masks. I got a couple of hair masks, a couple of, eye masks. I got the Freeman Repairing Honey Hair Mask. This is the Repairing Hair Mask. And it is a 0.67 ounce, 0.67 fluid ounce. And it's by Freeman, which is apparently sold in Target and Walmart. I also got the Nourishing Chamomile, just to show you the two different, the difference in the two. Put it over here, because the light's shining on it. See, one is Nourishing Chamomile, and one is Replenishing Honey. So, see, one's got the honey on it, one's got the little flower on it. But there are two different ones, and I picked up two of each. So, there you go. 
Um, I also picked up two of the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. My light is shining on this one. So I picked up two of those. This is a point five fluid action, action, fluid action. I started reading two things at the same time. 0.5 fluid ounces dual action mask instantly detoxes pores and exfoliates for smooth skin for all skin types as it says right there so i got two of those i got two of the freeman beauty infusion firming hydrogel eye masks which i thought i i would like to try to maybe get rid of the dark circles under my eyes That'd be nice. So I got those, and you get one pair, and it's dermato dermatologist tested serum infused hydrogel mask. So you see the little picture of the lady with the little doohickeys under there, and you can feel like plastic in here, so that it's like shaped just like the lady's eyes here. So I'm interested in trying that. And I also picked up two of these Freeman revitalizing sheet masks, pomegranate and granada, grenade. Anyway, I don't like sheet masks, so I will be giving these away in friend mail or in a giveaway. But if you like... Um, Paper masks, these are for you. This is one mask. All the other things the other one said, dermatologist tested, serum infused, blah, blah, blah. What's it say on the corner here? 100% cotton sheet mask. So that's that. And I got two of those for friend mail or for giveaways or maybe both. I also found the Freeman mask primer micellar water i got two of these and these are 12 ounce bottle they are bulgarian rose and probiotics prepare skin for masking instantly cleanses restores balance so a 12 ounce bottle and it's got the flip top so i grabbed two of these and these are out now in case anyone's wondering. I also found the, now this particular mask was also in um, the packet like these. I don't know what size it was, maybe like this size. But they also had it in the tube. And I thought, why would I buy the little packet when I could get the tube? I can get a four ounce tube of the cleansing clay mask with charcoal and probiotics for the same price that I could buy the one use package. So I picked up two of these. And they also had in this same uh, style, they had this in the four ounce and they also had it in the little plastic container or one use Thing. This is also four ounces. This is a purifying in shower mask with sea kelp and probiotics. Now, why you would not get the four ounce one and only get the one time one, even if you didn't like it, you're still paying the same price. So, why would you get the other one? So, I grabbed these in shower mask. I'll have to see how that works. So, I got that. Was that? Nope. Here's a little bit more. I picked up a bunch of the Bolero uh, wipes in the bigger package. The other Bolero wipes used to be about this size. You still get 32. Well, you get 32. I don't remember what you used to get in the other ones. I think 30. You get 32 uh, smoothing facial wipes. This helps hydrate and protect 
for clear, beautiful skin. And this is in the pink cactus water. The packaging is just to die for. It's just so stinking cute. So I got that one. I picked up one of each. No, well, maybe not each. I think I got, well, I got five of them. There might have been six. I don't know. I got the lemon water. Also 32 sheets. And this one says, rich in vitamin C for a bright, healthy glow. What's this one say? Helps hydrate and protect for clear, beautiful skin. They all say cleansing. Nope, that one's, this one says soothing facial wipe. This one says cleansing facial wipe. This one, Bamboo Water, is a nourishing facial wipe and says the anti-inflammatory properties of bamboo moisturizes and soothes skin. And this is also a 32 count. And then the Coconut Water is a moisturizing facial wipe, soothes and moisturizes dry skin. And that's coconut. I love the smell of coconut. And then there is cucumber water hydrating facial wipes. Gently cleanses and hydrates for smooth skin perfection. At least it's not going to dull your skin like those other things. So you, know, you have to watch when you're buying, you know, when you're choosing your scents. They say different things. Hydrating moisturizing that one's also nourishing cleansing soothing so all of them say something different but they're all probably the same they all probably do the same thing they just put different words on them all right then i have some craft and stationary stuff um after i show you this little um crust body bag it was just calling my name with the little cactuses I just thought it was so cute. It's got the little zipper here. Opens up. You can put your stuff in here. You know, just when you're running to the store or you're going to a picnic, you don't want to carry a purse or a pocketbook around with you. It's got this nice long handle. It'll go cross body. It's adjustable so you can make it as long as you want. And I just really thought this was cute. There were four different designs. But the cactus called out to me and said, Kathy, buy me. You know, I, it is so stinking cute. You have to have it. So I got that. <laughs> um, I have some craft items and then I have some stationary items. Um, I picked up some black acrylic paint in the tube by Crafter Square. Uh, three ounce container. I don't think I got black yet. So I picked that up. I picked up the Heidi Swap Word Blessed, which I had not seen before. The only one I saw before was Family. Love that word, Blessed. Because I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and I'm blessed. And I just like that. I only found one, so I grabbed that. Um... I found these wood carving tools. How cool is that? I have not done anything with wood carving, but I thought, you know what? I'd like to have that in my stash of stuff so that if I ever needed to do something with wood, um, I would have the, the tools. So you get um, a flat blade, an engraving blade, a round blade and a triangle blade so if you can see that that's what they look like there's four in a pack they have a wood handle and I said you know what I need these in my life so I got those to go with my crafting stuff these two things I picked up I don't know just because I'm going to give them to a friend who does this kind of stuff, but I was like, what? Dollar Tree has aluminum crochet hooks? What? They did have plastic ones as well, but this one is aluminum, supposedly, on the top. 
I crocheted once in my life. One thing, no, two things in my life. I learned to crochet when Albert was just a baby, which was um, 36 years ago. And uh, I made him a stocking, Christmas stocking, which was my first completed project. And then my second project was a blanket, which I started for him as a baby. Um, it took me 18 years to finish that blanket. I worked on it and then I put it away and then I worked on it and I put it away and I was bound and determined to have it finished for when he went away to college. I am a um, crocheter that holds the crochet hook so tight and, and I crochet so tight that it really was not enjoyable to me. I mean, I see people crochet, they're like, do, 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 talking, watching TV. I crochet like this with my knuckles turning white and I'm just staring at the crocheting. I see people go do 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 talking, watching TV, you know. I can't do it, so I gave it up. But I picked this up for uh, a friend. So look out, Dollar Tree's got crochet hooks now. They had it in all plastic, which I almost got, and then I saw the aluminum and I said, you know what, I'm gonna get this one. And it's purple, so why not? And then I saw plastic knitting needles. And I said, wow, now they got knitting needles too? And then I saw the aluminum knitting needles. Look at these. Let me show you up close. They are aluminum knitting needles. I don't knit. I've never knitted. But I do, I, I believe my niece Amy knits. And uh, so I got these for her. They're 5.0 millimeters I don't know what that means I think that's like the size of the you know the circumference of the needle but I picked these up for you Amy if you're watching and if you crochet too let me know I'll give you that too but I was ju I just had to show you guys that the Dollar Tree is now besides carrying yarn is now carrying the tools to do something with the yarn so you can knit, you can crochet with that yarn and have yourself a good old time. So I grabbed those and they are out there. They're both aluminum and they do come in plastic as well. Okay, now I have some stationary stuff. I picked up the four pack of mechanical pencils and I got them just because I love the design. They are by ink. They're soft scripts mechanical pencils. I prefer a regular pencil, but you know what? I will use a mechanical pencil uh, when I have to. And I just thought these were so cool. So I may keep like one or two and give one or two away, but I just thought they were so awesome looking. I love that black and white scroll work. So I hope they, they work. They're refillable comfort grip. 0.7 millimeters, which must be the tip of the pen. Not pen, but uh, mechanical pencil. So I got that. Um, then I got this package of sheet protectors. 16 um, sheets in here, which I thought was an awesome buy. They're by Jot. And um, these are not what you use for a pocket letter, but they're almost what you use for a pocket letter. A pocket letter looks just like this, only it has three sections, and each sec each section has three little sections across. They're basically what you use for um, baseball trading cards, but these are sheet protectors, and I bought the bought these to have for important paperwork, and they have the um, holes to go in a binder, and you get sixteen of them. So, I mean, they can't be that thick because this is a pretty thin package. Actually, let's 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 just take a look at them. You want it together? Let's look at them together. I mean, they'll protect your sheet, whatever. Yeah, they're thin. They're very thin. But they will do the trick. They will keep you from getting your paperwork stained or whatever. Yeah, they're really thin. 
And how do you, where's the part where you open the thing? That's the bottom. I'm struggling with this, guys, so I can't figure it out, Captain. Uh, where do you put the paper in, on the top? Ah, uh, there you go, okay. Opens on the top. See, these are very flimsy. So if you're looking for a more um, qu better quality sheet protector, I wouldn't suggest these. But if they're just to keep things from getting stained or ruined, why not? You get 16 of them for a buck. And I will work on getting that back in the package at another time. Um, I picked up a couple of... Uh, I picked up some note cards. These have been around in the Dollar Tree for a while. You get eight of them. They're Expressions by Hallmark. As you can see, they sold in the store for $3.89. Yep, still. Hallmark brand cards in the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I just love that little coffee pot with the flowers. So I got those. Because I needed some blank cards. I have a gazillion thank you cards, but not too many blank cards. And and I refuse to buy the ones that are six in a pack. Not refuse. I just want more for my money. So I like to get the eight ones. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked up this Jot 2021 calendar. It's got the calendar on the top. It's got the pad on the bottom. Just thought it was really pretty. It's got the magnet on the back, which you can or cannot, you know, you can remove this if you don't want it on there, if you're not going to hang it up. But I thought this would be great to have on the fridge. Always being able to check what day it is. And then I got this Need to Get um, by Jot. It is 60 sheets. And I got it because I got it for a friend, a male friend of mine. I got this for Jeff. Um, he likes to have a little calendar, not calendar, a little notepad on his refrigerator to write down things he needs to get at the store. And um, a lot of these are like girly. So I thought this one would be nice for him to hang on his refrigerator. And I think his refrigerator is black. So I got this for Jeff. I also picked up these little smiley face stickers. You get 112 smiley faces. And I'll tell you why I bought them. Um, on our badges now, we have our name or whatever. And then we've just recently added this thing that says social distancing. And it has two stick figures. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun to just put smiley faces on the heads of the people social distancing? That's why I bought them. So, I got those. I'm just a goof. I'm sorry. I also got these just because they were so stinking cute. I can't even. They just make me smile looking at them. They are 12 pieces of monkey stickers. Pop-up stickers. How stinking cute are these? They're adorable. Can you stand it? I love them. I was like, oh my God, I have to have those. I also found, um, not found, but I purchased these 117 piece like heart gem stickers. I wanted to use those for crafting. Maybe like, um, I don't know, put them on, like see if they would fit like around the rim of this or just to, to jazz up something don't know what but i'm gonna jazz up something with these and i thought they were just cute they come in red they come in blue they come in green i picked the clear ones and then i found these project life stickers 55 stickers the packaging looks like this and that is the first page That is the second page. The little houses. And this is the third page. And there on the back is 
the, the pages. And these are Project Life. From what I understand, they sell in Hobby Lobby and Michael's for way more than a dollar. I picked up two of them. So that I thought was a great deal. Got those. Oh dear, we're at 45 minutes. Hey, you know what? We're getting pretty close to the end of this haul. This particular thing I grabbed because one of my subscribers said that, I believe it was her granddaughter, could have been daughter, but I think it was granddaughter, was turning four and she was looking for this. These light up um, things. She was looking for a four. And I found one. So if whoever it was that mentioned she was looking for this, if, she, if you still want it, um, email me. Don't leave a comment down below. Email me um, at K Donovan D O N O V A N one five six two at gmail.com and tell me that you were the one that left the comment and give me your name and address and I will mail this out to you ASAP because I'm assuming you want it for a birthday if it hasn't passed already. So I, you know, remembered that comment and I picked this up for that particular subscriber. So that's that. Um, oh, I did get in the teaching tree this 3D, I don't know why it's 3D, wall border, 10 pieces. I just thought this was really pretty. Loved, love the design of that. I just thought it was really cool, that tie-dye look. I figured I could use that for crafting. They are... I don't have my ruler. I feel so bad. But you, you've seen these in the in the teaching tree section. I would say they're probably, I don't know, 15, 16, 18 inches. I don't know. I'm not good at measuring stuff. But I just thought that was so, so pretty. And they had a bunch of different ones. And I also picked up this, like, gingham blue i don't know if you got the color is coming on that it's also that teal color i didn't i wasn't going to get it because it's the same color almost as this one but i loved them both so i grabbed them both and you get 10 oh this one you get 12 pieces in and this one you get 10 so if you're looking for a certain number of pieces i would watch to make sure that you're getting enough of what you need because see, this one says 12, and this one says 10. I thought they were both 10, but not that it matters. I mean, I'm just using them for crafting. But if you're specifically looking for these for something, um, and you want to make sure you have enough, check out the number of pieces that comes in it, because one's 10 and one's 12. Now that I harped on that. Okay, a couple more things. I got some books, and a little bit of food, and some cleaning products. So, that's the end of it. I picked up this LA totally awesome laundry pre-wash stain remover. And I thought I would give this a try. I have been using a uh, stain stick um, all these years, 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 years. And I thought I would try something new. This is 32 ounce, comes in a spray bottle. I know that LA's awesome regular household cleaner is just that awesome so i said you know what maybe this laundry pre-wash will be just as good eliminates tough stains so i'm gonna give it a shot if you've used this before in the past let me know leave me a comment down below and let me know speaking of comments down below i i get a lot of comments um i hope that you all are subscribed to my channel if you're not subscribed which subscribed means you become part of my little family. Um, every person that clicks that little subscribe word right down there, you click on that word subscribe, a little thing pops up and it it's a bell button. It asks you if you want to be notified of all my videos. Some of, There's like three options. I don't know what it is. It's like all, some, or whatever. But there's three options of how you can be notified. If you're not a member of my family yet and you haven't subscribed to the, my channel, please do so. Um, I was looking over my analytics for my views and it was saying that 66% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed. And that kind of made me sad. I, I would love to know that 
you know, all of the people watching my channel are part of my little YouTube family. So if you're not subscribed or you want to check that you're subscribed, see that little word down there that says subscribed in the red? Just click on that and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Because if you're not subscribed and you sent me a card for the giveaways, I'm sorry, you have to be subscribed to my channel and have sent me in a card. I'm going to leave my P.O. box in the description box again, my address for mailing that. Um, I will also put my email address in the description box. I don't know how to give my link to my Facebook page, but um, I'm under Kathy Donovan, D-O-N-O-V-A-N, Kathy with a K. Um, it's got a picture of me in the picture, in my profile picture. Um, I don't know how else to lead you to my Facebook page, but I will at least leave my email address and my mailing address. Okay. Anyway, I picked up these, uh, Rubbermaid take-alongs in this new teal color. I love the color. Um, I have a bunch of, uh, Rubbermaid things, but this blue is just so pretty and switch it up from all the red that I have. I do have a lot of red and you know, my kitchen's red, but you know, you need a little pop of color in there sometime. And these are 2.9 cups. So not quite three cups, but these are great for little leftovers for dinner or whatever. So I grabbed a pack of those. I did get another kind that were deeper and not so big around. There are two, dif two different shapes. So when I saw these, I was like, let me get a set of those too. Um, <clears throat> finishing up here. This is all I got in the toys. I got Caroline, this little hedgehog. So cute. Well, actually, we were in the store and she wanted um, a stuffed animal. And I said, well, how about these hedgehogs? Look at his face. And I, I said, oh, they got it in blue, and they got it in brown. Which one do you want? So she picked the brown one, which I wanted her to pick the blue one. So she picked the brown one, and I said, you know what? I'm going to get the blue one for Grandma's house because he's just so stinking cute. Look at how cute he is. Can you stand that face? And he's squishy. So I got him for Grandma's house. So they have little hedgehogs out there. I think there might've been another color black. I think there was a black and white one. Might've been one other color, but I th thought the two cutest ones were the tan ones in that one. And she picked the other one. Um, I also found one fingerling in this haul. So I got that. That is all the toys I got. All the toys I got was a hedgehog and a fingerling. So you guys should be proud of me. <laughs> That's because there's no new toys out. Oh. I showed you guys the ugly dolls, right? I think I did. Anyway, that's a new toy that's out there. We watched the movie and it was so fun. Anyway, I got this bonus pack of the uh, Toastums, Pop-Tarts, Pop-Ups. These are good. I actually like them a little bit better than regular Pop-Tarts. And they're a bonus pack. You get eight instead of six. So I was like, yes, please. Thank you for the bonus. And I also picked up these Pampa Banana Pepper Rings. Sweet. 12 ounce. I love banana peppers on a sandwich, on a sub. Just love them. They're nice and sweet. So I got these. And then I got books. If you're not interested in books, I don't know what to tell you. I got books. I found this book, which I thought was so cute. It's called Lil Bub's Lil Book. And this is the cover. And I was like, what the heck kind of book is this? So I open it up and I start flipping the pages. And look at what it is. It's funny cat pictures. It's this cat who is Bubs, I guess, and his little adventure. Look at him. Look at him. Can you stand it? Look at this picture. I just said, I, I got to have that. 
I just got to have it. What is that? What is that? Can you stand it? Oh, my God. And there he is in a freaking uh, UFO. So I got to look. The extraordinary life of the most amazing cat on the planet. So, so I got that. And this retailed for $16. I don't know who would pay $16 for this book, but I thought it was cute for a buck. I had to have it. All right. The next book I found was the Choose Kind Journal. I was really happy to find this again. Um, I had one of these that I found before. And I found two more that I am going to put, I believe, in a giveaway with the cutting mats. I think, like, the first place winner of the cutting mats will also get the, the um, Choose Kind journal. Either that or I'll stick it in some kind of giveaway. But I want to give these away. Um, they are retailing for $16.99. And what it is is it's just like a daily journal where you can write things in here and it says you know it has like where did you see beautiful people what made them so on july 11th um have you ever seen a friend be kind to someone other than you write about it on august 7th and it's a whole year of Finding the good in life, finding the kindness and the love that we all need, especially during this pandemic. You know, we all need to find the bright side of uh, what's happening. So I thought these would be a great addition to anyone's life. So when I found one for myself and then I saw them in another store, I was like, yeah, I got to have these in a giveaway. Um, I thought maybe with the cutting mats, but I don't know. But they're going to be in a giveaway, and I'm going to start as soon as I catch up on my um, hauls. I am going to give away. Promise, promise, promise. Uh, I think maybe tomorrow I will draw the names for some cutting mats. So stay tuned. I also found the another Your Ultimate Guide of Style. Uh, this retailed for $19.95. I showed you guys this before. I also picked this up to give away. And it's uh, by People Magazine. And it's got all kinds of pictures of style and famous people. And I just thought it was a cute little book. And I found another one because I already have it. So I said, you know what? For people that haven't found it, I'm going to put this in a giveaway. Um, I also found this book. Um active workouts that work for you and it's oh here's the cover and um this retailed for 14 well no 14.99 uk 16.99 in the u.s and it's got different ways you can work out and i think i need to start stretching and you know oh yeah here's what like what my mother used to say let me find that picture again I used to be able to do that when we would watch uh, skating, figure skating on the Olympics. She was like, I used to be able to do that. So we joke about all the time about that. Yeah. I used to be able to do this too. Yeah, not. But anyway, I thought, you know, I could get some exercises to strengthen my back and my arms and, you know, whatever. But I got it for a buck at the Dollar Tree. There's the back. I'm never going to look like that, but that's okay. Different strokes for different folks. And then I found this one, How to Be More Creative. No. How to Be More, Create More, Do More. The Vera Bradley Way. A Colorful Way of Living. And this is by Vera Bradley or the Vera Bradley way. It's by Barbara Bradley. I'm trying to get this sticker off on the back to see what it retailed for. Hang on. I don't know why they have to put these on here. 
This retailed for $26.99 in the U.S. Yeah. And I just thought, you know, maybe I could do more, create more, whatever. Thought it would be an interesting read. And I love Vera Bradley's stuff. Find your balance. Own it. Color every day. Trial and error is the way to go. Act as if. You know, look at this page. It's just so pretty. There's room for everyone. Just a really great little motivational book. Um, positivity and strength. Adaptability and belief. I always think everything will work out. Cultivate chutzpah and take chances. Follow your strengths. Make friends wherever you go. Choose nice. Notice the details. Keep the F in fun. Add a big cause to your purpose. Lean on your sisters. Slip up from time to time. And always remember there's enough success and happiness for everyone. That's what it says on the back of the book. So last but not least... I found this book on Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy Onassis, which I cannot wait to read. The Untold Story by Barbara Fleming. I love reading stuff about the Kennedys. And uh, I thought this was an awesome book, especially Jackie Kennedy. She, was th she went through so much. Um, and this book retailed for... Oh, this book went for $27.99. $27.99. The back, I got to finish peeling that off, but $27.99. Jacqueline Kennedy. And there are pictures inside in the center of the book. Her, when her husband got assassinated. Horrible, horrible. Um, yeah, just some pictures of her life, and I can't wait to read that. So, that is going to be an interesting read. And that is the end of my Dollar Tree haul, guys. It was a big one, an hour long with no friend mail, so yeah, I got quite a bit of stuff. Um, I hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday. Um, if you're not watching this on Saturday, whatever day it is, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to go visit Caroline now, and uh, I hope to be back tomorrow with a video with Caroline so that she can um, open up her friend mail and you all can see her. Um, you always leave such positive comments, so, you know, I try to have her on as much as possible. Um, originally, I bought her, brought her on, and I thought, I don't know if people are going to dig this, but... You know, I get such really nice comments about it. So, you know, she's kind of my sidekick. So, pretty soon she's going to be running this channel and I'm just going to be her sidekick. So, I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I love to have you all as part of my YouTube family. And uh, I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Or... I can't promise that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.